Okay, guys, so one thing about Mother's Day that I love is that when it comes to Mother's Day, you do not have to be a biological mother to celebrate Mother's Day. I realized that um, a long time ago. I don't know um, if you realize that, but um, I think when it comes to Mother's Day, you can be grandmama <laughs> that's taking care of somebody's kids. I am a dog mom too, okay? I am a dog mom. I have a my little Kobe, and if you saw him in some of the videos, I know that that is my baby right there. So, and then you got the aunties out there. The aunties who actually raised your sister children, brother children, or you don't have um, siblings, but you take on children in your neighborhood or around your um, community that you share your life with, you take them on trips and you care about them and then you you do certain things for them, you are still a mom, okay? You are still a mom. So, happy Mother's Day to those. Okay guys, it's Mother's Day and I am so sorry that we have back-to-back -back floral videos, but I can't help it guys. It's just that uh, the month of May is kind of busy. So last week or two weeks ago, I, I actually did the tropical arrangement. So now I'm going to bring you back for Mother's Day. I'm so sorry, but we have to do Mother's Day, okay? So I have a project today. So I'm going to do arrangement for our church. I have um, a floral arrangement already set up. So basically, I already set it up now just to show you where I'm at. And then I'm going to do the same thing in this planter right here, okay? Um, I had to paint them white, okay? Because I needed some white planters for my floor arrangements. So let's get let's get started, okay? Let's see what we have here. And then you see my cutter. I have a large uh, wire cutter here. And like I told you, a variety of color for ribbon because we're gonna need some ribbon. And then right here you see I have, let me move this out the way, I have these rocks. Now, I purchased these small stones and then I put it in, let you see closer. This is gonna be my weight, okay? So I put it in um, baggies. So I put it in bags and I wrap some tape around it. As you can see, I'm gonna pick it up so you can see it a little better. You see those are small little stones for weight. You can put larger stones in there, whatever you want. Um, I chose the smaller stone so I can kind of like move it around to fit into the planner. Okay, again, let me show you a close up of the planner again before. Um, this cutter is for florals okay large florals then I have my my shears which is my scissors and of course I have the ribbon like I just said and then I have my measuring tape okay and then um, I'm looking for something and you know what I'm looking for and here it is my floral wire okay so we can make sure everything is together okay and then now I have this is the floral, 
that I already put together, okay? And I have everything here to do the same thing here, okay? So as you can see, it's already put together, okay? So we didn't want to go through that whole thing. So I didn't want to do two, so I did one already, and then I'm going to put the florals in that, okay? So around here, I have my colors, okay? I have my, my I just chose these. Look at these pink um, roses here. Okay, I'm trying to decide which color of roses I want. I have this one that has a little bit of pink. Um, this one is more uh, two shades of pink here. And these are my roses, pink roses. And then I have some lilies down here, white lilies. And then I have some white roses too. And here, as you can see, I have my white roses. It's something about the open roses that I love um, I try to combine both open and um, closed so it can look natural and then over here I have some pink we have some hydrangea we have the hydrangeas here and they're pink Whoop. they come in a bundle okay you can catch these at Michaels Michaels always have um, a, a good sale very good sale and then I have some of these green. I'm going to throw a little bit of green in there. And then, as you can see, when I said I had closed roses, see, I have these type of closed roses. And then I have my lilies. I have some purple here. Um, these purple lilies, I try to choose the lighter ones because when it comes to Mother's Day, you don't want to, you don't want to have like a really strong purple.
Okay guys, um, to save time, I'm just letting you know that I have already put my arrangements together, both of them. Um, huh. I find out every time that I actually put an arrangement together, I do something different. But um, I just want you to see guys that this is absolutely beautiful. And sometimes it don't have to be exact. Since I have two, I kind of move some flowers around. Um, so that they look different, but they're the same, okay? They have the same colors, the same flowers, and I think it turned out very nice. So, of course, I want to save some time. I didn't want to go through the whole ordeal of showing you how to put the flowers together because everyone is selective, okay? So, as you can see, um, I'm gonna give you a close up, okay? So this is the arrangement, and it's pretty much the same here, okay? And I decided to go with the pink ribbon to bring a, to put around the base of the planter, okay? And I think this will be nice. I think the pink, since I have majority of pink here, um, I have my purple, uh, well, purple and lavender lilies. I have here um, roses. I have white lilies assorted flowers that I showed you earlier. I have like the closed rows here and I have open roses, pink, white. Um, I put some baby breath in here to soften it a little bit so that you can see that it is pretty much something like um, what we want to go with right now because it's Mother's Day. And I think it turned out really well, okay? So now I have this two-sided tape here, these small little squares that I'm going to put on the back of the arrangement. Now keep in mind, even though I said the back, um, this arrangement was made up where it's that you're going to see it on the sides, you're going to see it from the back, and so I made sure that when you turn it to the back, you have this nice little, nice little arrangement here in the back. So we don't, we don't want to have all our flowers in the front. And then on the sides here, we have a, a good look at this full arrangement, okay? And so I think it came out well, guys. What do you think? You can comment at the bottom, okay? You can comment at the bottom. And hopefully you love this video. Even though the video was kind of short and I didn't really go through the whole thing of the arrangement, I did show you the base, and then I just put the flowers where I needed to put the flowers. It's really optional, okay? To say, I know where my front is at. Where I put my purple lilies, and this one I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to, yeah, that'll hold, but I'm still gonna have to put some wire on that so it won't move. So my purple, this is my front. And let me just also say, when you have like greenery like this hanging, real, these flowers look real. They really do, but they all are silk, see? When someone comes by and they say, oh, are those real flowers? And they start touching them, then you know you did a good job with some silks, okay? And so what I'm gonna do is take this back. You don't need a lot, even though it's a small square, you don't need a lot. On the front, the back, or whatever. So I already pre-cut my ribbon. Make sure they're even, it's even. It's a tie a nice little bow. I'm gonna put this over to the side a little bit because it's kind of in the way, the greenery. Hmm. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, so that looks great. So another thing, when at the bottom of my ribbon, you fold it together. First, let's cut it straight first. Straight across. So I put my, a fold, I put a fold in my ribbon, and I always cut downwards. And 
and there we go. You like that? Okay. All right, guys, so next step is we're gonna transfer these arrangements to the church, and you can follow me there, okay? Let's go. And as you can see, I set up my florals in front of the church, and I'm still going to fill these in here with the same colors that I have here. Our other floral, let's bring it down, and here it is where it's on this side, and I'm going to fill all of those florals in right there. Okay, guys, that looks great, right? Okay guys, this is the end of this video and I hope you learned something today. With further ado, I would like for you to subscribe to my channel, like, share, and comment. So I want to say to all of the mothers out there, happy Mother's Day and have a good day. Mm.